this afternoon. This is really obviously an exciting start to the 125th anniversary match celebrations. And I'd like to introduce our chairman, Mr. Peter Hillwood. Uh, thank you all for coming on this very chilly afternoon. I won't keep you longer than I have to, but it's a great historic moment in the, in the history of, of this great football club. As you're aware, tomorrow, our match against Everton, we are celebrating our 125th anniversary. And today is forming part of our celebrations of this special milestone. In December 1886, a group of workers in Woolwich decided to start a football team. Since then, the glorious history of Arsenal Football Club has spanned 125 years, including 13 league championships, 26 major honours, 18 full-time managers, hundreds of wonderful players and members of staff, and of course, thousands of fantastic Arsenal supporters. During the club's history, we've always been forward-thinking club. This can be traced back to the 1890s, when we were the first Southern club to turn professional and join the Football League. Of course, our forward-thinking has been represented in recent years with our move to this wonderful stadium. 125th anniversary is not only a good moment to look forward to an exciting future, but also look back and celebrate great figures in the history of our club. And today is a, a celebration of three hugely influential figures in the history of Arsenal Football Club. Today we will be unveiling statues of three Arsenal legends who will proudly be on display outside Emmerich Stadium for all to see. The statues will provide a way for Arsenal supporters and visitors to Emmerich Stadium to remember these three legends and play their own tribute to three great men. I would like to start the proceedings for today's un statue unveiling. We're here at the first statue, which is celebrating the contribution of an early innovator, not only at Arsenal, but in the world of football. This man is, was integral, integral to the early success of Arsenal Football Club. He was a pioneer of his time and simply magnificent football manager. It gives me great pleasure to unveil a commemorative statue to Herbert Chapman. During his nine years in charge, Arsenal was simply the finest football team in England. Chapman's team won the league four times in five years, and his development of Arsenal advanced diets, fitness, and tactical approaches was revolutionary. The direct attacking style of players like Alec James, Cliff Baskin, and David Jack, who featured in Chapman's groundbreaking FFWM formation, was the envy of other clubs. Chapman's untimely death in 1984, 1934, I beg your pardon, at the age of just 55, was a shock to the world of football. But his contribution to Arsenal will never be forgotten. I would now like to ask our current manager, Arsene Wenger, to say a few words. <laughs> 125 years of history, if of course something uh, special, and uh, I'm very happy to be here and witness how great Arsenal has become. I am uh, a big admirer of Herbert Chapman because I think he's the greatest manager in the history of this club, not only for his exceptional results, but 
because he had a vision, a vision for this club. And today is a good opportunity to see what, how big Arsenal has become. And certainly, uh, to become a big club, you need historically people who have a vision and the strength to push it through, a strength to be ahead of people's mind, a strength to think the future. And uh, I believe more than ever today, I would like to thank people who have done that, not only Herbert Chapman, because he's of course honored today, it is an exceptional day, but as well people I worked with in uh, recent years, who have as well a vision and to share vision and to have the power and the strength to push their vision through. So it's a special day for Herbert Chapman, but as well I would like on the same occasion to honor all these people who have worked so hard to make of this club what it is today. Thank you very much.